Just a few seconds with the AS90, an exercise Prairie Thunder seems appropriately named. Capable of firing up to 24 kilometres, the 16 battery of 26 Regiment Royal Artillery, it's their role to use these guns to protect the forward troops of 20th Armoured Brigade, firing at enemy targets often close to them. We spot them in sort of anywhere from screening with smoke with the missions that are currently going on behind us now to, to HE missions that are keeping the enemy suppressed, letting the infantry move or even firing at a different target to give the, a, a false perception of where the friendly forces are. The sheer size and uninhabited nature of Vatus offers a freedom of firing that these gunners rarely have elsewhere. It's a 360 degree battle where the enemy can come from any direction and the soldiers are constantly challenged. There's also the logistical problem of keeping supplied with ammunition and with each heavy explosive shell weighing almost seven stone, it's a tough job. Echelon provide all the ammunition um, to the guns. We uh, pick up salvage, all the rubbish, uh, make sure everything's tidy on the composition. Um, we also help out the guns, uh, lifting shells, humming and dumping. And that's it really. It's, it's hard, you know, in, in this heat as well. So. Even closer to the action are mortar platoon, supporting from a forward operating base, and artillery soldiers using the unmanned aerial vehicle, the Desert Hawk 3. But the terrain here is still challenging. It's a bit difficult, but um, you soon realise how to uh, judge ground, uh, work with it and um, being able to um, work out where you are and where the enemy is by using the contours and um, the, the fixture, well, uh, yeah, the fixtures around on the ground. This gun isn't dragged across the battlefield. Instead, the AS-90 is driven at speed to a new location, following the movement of forward troops. This is very much a mobile and tactile gun group. The guns move regularly so that the enemy can't find out where they are. When they scout out a new position, they then must get their vehicles camouflaged as quickly as possible, and they could be firing within minutes. For these gunners, this is one of the longest and hardest exercises they'll ever deploy on, and they are tested on their range of techniques. This is an example of a danger close mission. Um, so due to the nature of Batus uh, when they fire danger close because it's uh, safety such a high priority at the target end uh, with potential troops close into the target. They have the guns very close together to limit any irregularities. Uh, so the uh, battery reconnaissance officer is given uh, quite a, a definitive grid with the as the bases, his uh, gun positions around. The heat, landscape and range of firing puts the pressure on like mission-specific training for Afghanistan. But this is also about contingency, and the choice of gun here harks back to the artillery's more traditional roots. It takes us back to conventional operations where we can use uh, our, our Challenger 2s and our AS-90s. Uh, so it's, it's great for the guys to sort of train on what they kind of hear about uh, in the, in the uh, batteries, but don't really get the chance to do so much uh, when they're back in Europe. But next year, troops from 2-6 will possibly deploy on Operic 20, and their experiences here should prepare them for supporting a battle group. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Canada.